Okay, so we're going to have a look at a couple of differentiation questions. Um, this is the first one. So we've got a curve with an equation y equals 1 over 8 uh, times this here. Uh, find the coordinates of the point on C at which dy by dx equals 0. Okay, so the first thing to do, uh, you might find it easy just to kind of simplify that. So y equals, well, if we're differentiating, that's going to disappear anyway. But we can just write that for now. So 9 over 8 plus x squared minus 1 over 8 x to the 4. Okay, uh, all we need to do is just uh, follow the differentiation rules. This is going to disappear. So we're going to end up with dy by dx equals, well that gets brought down, so we get 2x. And then this gets brought down, so we end up with minus 4 over 8x cubed. Um, and when we want the, 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 when the gradient is equal to 0, when the gradient is equal to 0, well if we factorise um, 2 out of this equation, um, we can get basically x in the out to that and then we're going to end up with 2 minus half x squared. So this is the, these are the, the points where we're going to uh, get the, the gradient is equal to 0. Well this therefore that gives us that one possibility is x equals 0 or the other possibilities is we've got uh, 2 is equal to half x squared. Okay, and if we solve this particular one, we're going to get x equals plus or minus 2. So we've got three different possible solutions. When x is 0, this is going to be 0. When x is plus or minus 2, then this bracket is going to be 0. Okay, uh, once we've found the x values, we want to find the coordinates, so therefore we need to find out what the y values are. So we need to basically put x equals 0 back into this initial equation, x equals 2 into this equation, and x equals minus 2 into this equation. Okay, therefore we get three different coordinates, which is 0, 9 over 8, and then we get minus 2, 25 over 8, and we also get 2, 25 over 8. Okay, three possible solutions. Okay, part B, uh, the tangent to C at the point P12 cuts the x-axis at the point T, determine the coordinates of T. Okay, so um, first off, let's, let's find out um, at the point x, well the x-coordinate is 1, so when x is 1, what is the gradient? So remember, we've just worked out uh, dy by dx. So we just basically put x equals 1 into this, into this equation here. So we find that uh, when x is 1, uh, the gradient is going to be 3 over 2. OK, we now use the formula uh, y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. Uh, in this case here, the tangent at the point 1, 2, well, the x coordinate is 1, the y coordinate is 2. So y minus 2, the y coordinate, equals 3 over 2, x minus 1. Okay, so we're just using this formula. Uh, if we then simplify that, uh, we could end up with y equals uh, 3 over 2x plus a half. Okay, so this is the equation of the tangent. Now, when does it cross the x-axis? Well, it crosses the x-axis uh, when y equals 0. So when y is 0, we end up with this. And therefore, the x value is minus a third. Okay, so there we go. So when x is minus a third, it crosses the x-axis. Therefore, that is my coordinate. So I've got minus one third. Uh, zero. I remember I'm calling that point T. And then part C, the normal to C at the point P causes the y-axis to the point N, find the area of the triangle. Okay, so uh, first things first, let's find the normal at the point P. So, If we flick back, so 
So to find the normal um, at the point C, uh, we just note that the tangent at the point C is 3 over 2. Therefore, the normal is going to be minus 2 over 3. So you just flip the fraction and add a negative. And then we use the same formula as before. Y minus Y1 equals M x minus x1 and we're still at the point p so we've got um, same as before y minus 2 equals minus 2 thirds x uh, minus 1 again again we can simplify that which gives us y equals minus 2 thirds x plus 8 thirds and we want to find where it crosses the y-axis. Well, it crosses the y-axis when x is 0. So when x is 0, we put x equals 0 in here. So when x equals 0, y equals 8 thirds. So therefore, we've got the point n is equal to 0 and 8 thirds. OK. Um, now, we haven't finished yet because we now need to find the area of the triangle PTN. Uh, probably the best way to do this is to just do a little sketch and actually just find out exactly what we've worked out. So N here is 8 thirds. We've got the point P, which is here, which is 1 and 2. And we've also got uh, the point T, which we found out before, which was minus a third. Um, and we're basically joining up is some kind of triangle, something like that. And we're trying to find the area of this triangle here. Um, so, uh, probably the easiest way to do this is to kind of think in terms of vectors. Um, if I find um, basically the, the distance from P to N, um, if you actually think about what this is going to be, because this is normal, this is actually going to be a right angle here. So all I actually need to do is basically do uh, the distance of PT times by the distance of PN. And if I divide that by 2 because it's a triangle, I will work out the area of the triangle now. So first off, to find PN, if I write it in vector form, all that is going to be 0 and 8 thirds. Take away 1, 2, which will give me minus 1 and then two thirds. Um, and equally, if I find out what PT is, again in vector form, I can do minus a third zero, take away one two, which will give me minus four thirds minus two. Okay, so therefore I've got the I've got how to get from P to N and how to get from P to T. Uh, all I now need to do is find the the actual distance, so to find the distance for those two, um, I can just basically do square root of well, minus one squared plus two thirds squared for this one, and equally minus four thirds squared, uh, and then this is going to be minus two squared. Um, if I work out those two distances, I will get uh, I will get the distance of PN is equal to root 13 over 3 and the distance of PT is equal to 2 root 13 over 3 okay and now I've got that all I need to do is basically do uh, the distance of PT times the distance of PN and then times it by a half. Okay, so in this case here, if I do that, I will do a half times root 13 over 3 times 2 root 13 over 3 is equal to 13 over 9. So there we go, that is the area of the triangle.